the victim writer's mindset one system of a virus that protects the ego cruelty humans are weak minded easily to corrupt species we live also in a violent discriminating society that's Malcolm X on it if you are not careful the people who do the oppressing let you laugh the victimizers So, Schopenhauer also says something in a similar fashion that it was that patriotism, when it's been implemented in uh, learning, it will act like one disease that needs to be eliminated. Patriotism or conservatism or um, communism, or who want you to call it, will not bring this world to a better place. Only focusing on your country and forgetting all the problems around you. There's a whole system. Focusing on one subject, one part, but nothing brings this world to a better place. Only focusing on your country and denying or ignoring problems around your country is selfish. Only when we have learned to be not selfish ourselves. By that extent. Also, give up nationalism and tribalism and all the other kinds of etymologies that only focus on a small problem. Only focus on your problem, only things that you benefit. To bring the peace on this planet. Family don't matter. Sometimes the people, your friends, can be better companions than your family. The family you cannot choose. You can hope that they understand and that they try to understand the point of view. What the victim, or the, uh, hope that you could, that they have some empathy, so that they don't be the second kind of evil, because you have two times two types of evil. The first one seems not to be acknowledged most more most vegans, but also by most other pacifists. Because they refuse to see the position of the victim. Instead, they choose to see the position of the victimizer or put more viral on the position of the victimizer. In hope that when you show compassion to the victimizer, he will change. That's what the mindset of one pure pacifist is. But there are some problems with the philosophy of pacifism. For example, if you met somebody without our conscious, your own conscious become a weapon in his hands. He turns you in a tool. Or the system will tool turn you into a tool. Malcolm X was also 
Even though I don't agree with anything, but he don't. I find, it, I find it hypocritical that he not see that actually the same same selfish, arrogant, evil things um, white people have done to blacks. White people also have done to animals, and black people do now also around the world, and taking the cruel traditions of the West, just like the Chinese. Resistance is futile! So as the Borg say, say and stuff like that. But I want to say with that, yes, that we in West have to learn to see things from our perception. Stop seeing things from the position of the kings and queens. With most of us do. Most of us seem normally to care about our small problems in our country. First, uh, matrix problems. Yes, I call it the matrix. Because it is an illusion. There is not something as uh, one, uh, second and third world. They're all one planet. And they're all the parts are interconnected in some or another way with each other. Even if we not understand. Just like the whole ecosystem and the seas are all connected to each other. If one place of sea, uh, the life disappear, it will also affect the life of other parts of the sea. The ecosystem is very complex. Far co or more complex than our stupid uh, money system. And more, far more viral than all of, uh, far more viral than our stupid money system. People can live without money. Animals can live without money. We cannot live without the environment. And don't let you be fooled by some well-spoken Democrat shitkind. How belief. Uh, that capitalism is the greatest gift of, of to humanity, and that without um, that actually, without uh, money systems, the life um, of the system will not grow. Um, well, what I mean with that, uh, human wealth is indirectly connected with money. That is what capitalism means, thinks. I say that's bullshit, or I would say human shit. Because we can, because many species can live without uh, some amount or some dollar or some whatever. But they cannot live without water. They cannot live without corn and other plants. No living being will survive without all the plants on the planet will disappear. Even the carnivores will suffer. So don't be a stupid self scant and learn to see things rational. And from the position of the victims. What I mean with that is stop caring about oppressors. Stop caring about people who abuse animals like Fig. All the dog killers and sort. Stop caring about people who work in slaughterhouses. Because if you are being fair, then you also have to give about the Nazis, who are a victim of the violent and discriminatory system of the Turk Reich. Then you also have to be opposed to um, the. Uh, Killing, yeah, the killing of uh, the Jew, of the Nazis, or uh, victim being of the final discrimination of the Third Reich. But also, you have to be against many other kinds of similar stuff. You also have to be against the uh, Black Panthers, how our righteousness defends the rights of black people when the police attack them. 
But you know, he will also be excused my eating for. Uh, rapists. If you are want to ex make excuses for farmers who rape animals to commodify them and turn them into property, then you also have to be not opposed to po the POP uh, pimps. How uh, commodify the bodies of uh, homini women? It is not. Heart, and you don't have to be a genius to see a flaw in this psychology, in this way of reasoning. This is psychotic. I will nothing protect the victimizer from the rage of the of, of the victims, a vict, a victims' friends and family members. Anytime I heard one victimizer panic in a, in a burning building, I laugh on his suffering because he deserves it. And if that seems hard, then I, I will say you. It is hard for the victims, how he have caused a suffering to and the family members. The animals are not willing participants in the cruel psychosis of one barbaric, cruel, savage cult. Yes, the word is out. If you eat meat during an act, you are more likely to be a cult. If you take the definition that a cult, one creepy um, sect is with one um, with creepy rituals and some sacrificing rituals then yes, with absolute surety Carnist is a cult because Carnist sacrifice or murder cows in billions and billions 60 billion any year, 60 billion innocent living beings, only for a sick addiction of lit matter, murder, and sickening diseases. Understand you this? Maybe I can explain it in this way. If you are not the victim, don't imagine it entirely from your point of view. Because if you are not the victim, it becomes pretty easy to mock your victims, make fun of their entire existence, label them stupid and dirty, like slave masters, rapists, child abusers, and other, a lot of other abominations have done to their respective victims. My compassion is not longer for the victimizers. Fuck them all. Screw them. Let them eat and buy 10,000 flies. My compassion is only for the victims. The cows, chickens, and all the other animals humans abuse. And for all the pacifists who wish to condemn me. Hypocrites. Because most likely, if I say it about people who abuse children, you being for it. If I s replace the word slaughterhouse worker with pedophile or farmer with rapist or pimp. You win for it, and don't deny that. And that, quite frankly, is discrimination. We vegans speak from the perception and from the side of the, of the victims. 
not from the position of the victimizer. If I was born in a family of mafiosos, and I one day understand what the other side of the mafia way of life was, and I try to explain it, and people will act the same way as you, me, their neck eaters, asking for respect of their cruel way of life. Do you respect it if you are my position? I think not. Ah, uh, yes, I am not running away around with swords and cut people's throats in revenge for what people do to the animals. But I will not oppose it if somebody has that in his mind. As long as people continue to massacre, I mean, the mass biggest cost of the biggest massacre of all time. Stop being a hypocrite. Stop being a speciesist. Stop being a vagot. And I don't mean homosexual with that. I mean a lazy, self righteous person. It can also mean a stick and a cigarette because you make me sick. When darkness and light become one, the reality split in a way and the truth become visible. For one moment, step in the position of the victims. Go vegan. It don't matter that you have made a mistake. Would that society let you make a mistake? It matters that you make it good. Well, that's the most important thing for the victims, that you stop the abuse for the liberationists, maybe they want to see punishment with the most biggest thing you can do for the victims is give them some respect the least amount of respect come on, what's the excuse for causing the least amount of suffering on this planet? I know small percentages of the rainforest are cut for human based buildings but we can give a lot back if anybody decides to go vegan 65 percent of the rainforest is directly cut for cattle ranching in total Animal slavery or animal husbandry, so like the insane people like the COVID, the psychopaths, the packs, the vandals. They are standing on the right or wrong side of justice and they are responsible for at least 80, um, at least. 81% of all the rainforest cutting. Locking is something like 2 to 4%. Why always focusing on small percentages instead of the bigger picture? I ask you. Always go vegan, no matter if you give about the animals or the environment. If you place yourself in the position of the victims you are fighting for, there is no rational excuse to continue harming animals for profit. Because animal agriculture and animal products and animal slavery by that extent is responsible for 51% of all the greenhouse gas emissions as well. I'm responsible for at least 50% of all the that uh, of the food on the feeding system. 
that is a conservative estimate because I can completely up to something like 80%. With my knowledge about how much things cost to produce. Be not a fool. Peace begins on the dinner table. By what you eat on a daily basis. People have to find things. They have to come in compromise. With the non violent party. Vegans are by far not the violent one. It's particular if you count animal lives as viral, as having viral. Even if you not know it, there's no excuse for the victims. We do that with humans. If we say, okay, alright. If you don't know it, uh, that you support um, child porno and you are responsible for that. But if you now stop, understand you that this work not that way. You are evil on that moment. But as Malcolm X have once say, being a criminal is one thing, but staying criminal is something completely different. <laughs>